point number six. Point ya sita. Avoid divisive behavior. Eh, kata tabia za utengano. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Avoid divisive behavior. Kata tabia za utengano. Apostle Paul. Mtume Paulo. In Romans 16 verse 17. Warumi 16, 17. And the Titus 3 verse 9. Kitabu cha Tito. Apostle Paul is warning the church about divisive behavior such as gossip. Slander. Because they are causing unnecessary divisions. Precious people. What were the manna? Men and women of God. Beloved of God. Globally and local. I came to say in the name of Jesus. It is time to promote unity. It is time to promote harmony. Ni wakati wa kujumuika pamoja rather than sowing seeds of discord usipande mbegu za utengano precious people watu wa dhamana when did the enemy come to the house of god wakati adui anakuja katika nyumba ya bwana and they planted and forgiveness within you na kapanda kutosamea katikati yako and when you overcame and forgiveness na wakati ulishinda kusamea you graduated to gossiping ukaenda katika kiwango cha kuleta masengenyo look at that graduate I don't know much. But it's time the body of Christ globally says no to gossip. Says no to slander. Because this is causing a lot of harm. Because we are one body. Maana, sisi ni mwili mmoja. When you slander the hand. Wakati unatusi mkono. When you gossip the hand. Wakati unatusi jicho. When you slander the ear. Wakati unatusi sikio. Are you telling the ear not to hear? Unaambia sikio lisisikie? Are you telling the eye not to see? Una, una, unaambia jicho lisione? When you are slandering the legs. Wakati unadharau miguu. Are you telling us not to go anywhere? Unatuambia tusiende? I'm talking deeper things now. Nazungumza vitu zaidi sasa. Because we are members of one body. Maana sisi ni mwili mmoja. Why are you gossiping the head? Kwa nini sasa unasengenya kichwa? Are you telling us to stop thinking? Why are you tearing down the chest? Why are you tearing down the lungs? Are you telling us not to breathe? I came to rebuke the spirit of gossip. I came to break the yokes of gossip. In the church. In the body of Christ. Everywhere we go. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of slander. In the name of Jesus, every time we are tempted to gossip, I call on the Holy Ghost to come and say, You don't belong there. You don't belong there. Shut your mouth. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who has wronged you, but keep quiet and pray for the person telling your neighborhood is not helping. In the name of Jesus, help your neighbor and tell them that looks like me and I'm changed now. Tell the other one with a smile. Amen. Love to God and say he is talking to me. Point number seven. Point number seven. Servant leadership. Utumishi. Hallelujah. Wa servant leadership. No, don't take him first. He's my son. So Hallelujah. Let him take his wa kutumika. Servant leadership. Uongozi wa utumishi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I came to tell the church. I came to tell the body of Christ. Jesus Christ is our Lord. 
Yesu Kristo ni bwana wetu. Jesus Christ is our Rabboni. Yesu Kristo ni mwalimu wetu. Jesus is our Rabboni. Yesu Kristo ni mwalimu wetu. Jesus is our Rabboni. Yesu Kristo ni mwalimu wetu. He is our teacher. Ndiye mwalimu wetu. He is our teacher. Ndiye mwalimu wetu. Hallelujah. And you can never be different from your Rabboni. Na uwezi kuwa tofauti na mwalimu wako. Clap to God and say I want to hear more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to talk about Raboni. Nataka kuzungumzia juu ya mwalimu. Raboni. Mwalimu. When I met Mary Magdalene. Wakati nilikutana na Mary Magdalene. And she was confused. Na alikuwa ametenganyikiwa. Where have they taken my Lord? Wamemweka wapi bwana wangu? And she started crying. Na akaanza kulia. She started weeping. Akaanza kulia. The master saw Bwa, this is serious. Bwana kaona hii ni ya maana. And before getting to heaven. Na kabla ingia mbinguni. After resurrection. Baada ya kufufuka. He rooted his plane. Akaangalia akapindua ndege yake. And he came to Mary Magdalene. Na kaja kwa Mary Magdalene. And when she was there, na wakati alikuwa pale, weeping and crying. Akilia na akiwa na simanzi. The Lord came behind her. Yake. And told her. Mwambia, Mary. Mary. And immediately. Na mara tu, the eyes of Mary were open. Macho Mariamu ikafunguka. And she called Jesus Rabboni. Na kaita Yesu mwalimu. And the Lord told me. Na Yesu akaniambia to come to call your name globally. Kuja kuita jina lako la kimataifa. That your eyes may be open. Ili macho yako yafunguke. And you may call Jesus his true name. Na uite Kristo jina lake kamili. Rabboni our teacher. Mwalimu wetu. Jehovah Yahweh. Yes. Jehovah our savior Mwokozi wetu Raboni our master Mwalimu bwana wetu Raboni our deliverer Mwalimu mkombozi wetu Raboni our helper Mwalimu msaada wetu I come to open your eyes Nakuja kufungua macho yako That Raboni is watching you Kwamba mwalimu anakutazama To come back to unity Urudi katika umoja In the body of Christ Katika mwili wa Kristo In the name of Jesus Katika jina la Yesu Say, our Raboni wetu. is the one who modeled servant leadership. Ni yeye ambaye anatengeneza uongozi wa utumishi. And the one that who called us to emulate servant leadership. Na yule ambaye alituita katika utumishi, uongozi wa utumishi wa milele. You will find him teaching in Matthew 20. Unampata akifunza katika Mathayo 20 verse 25 to 28 25 28 Our Raboni mwalimu wetu our teacher mwalimu wetu our counselor yule ambaye anashauri our helper anatusaidia our deliverer kombozi wetu our master bwana wetu the water walker yule anatembea juu ya maji anafanya miujiza took time to teach about servant leadership akachukua muda na nafasi afunza juu ya uongozi wa utumishi may your eyes be open wacha macho yako afunguke sasa he simply saying anasema prioritize leadership uweke kipao mbele uongozi if you are a husband kama wewe ni bwana be a servant to your family kuwa mtumishi kwa familia yako if you are a wife kama wewe ni mke prioritize the teachings of your rabboni Kipe kipaumbele umafunzo ya mwalimu wako. If you are a manager in that company. Kama wewe ni mkuu wa hiyo kampuni. Look back at Raboni. Muangalie mwalimu. And learn from him. Na ujifunze kutokana na yeye. Servant leadership. Utumishi uongozi wa utumishi. The body of Christ I came on time. Mwili wa Kristo nimekuja wakati unaofaa. To remind us that servant leadership is the key. Kukukumbusha kwamba uongozi wa utumishi ni wa muhimu. Whether I am in choir, niwe katika kwaya. Whether I'm in ushering, niwe katika ushemanzi. Whether I'm the bishop or the reverend, niwe ndiye kasisi. Whether I am the one preaching or ushering, mimi ndiye naubiri ama niko ni shemanzi. The main point of our raboni, ile ya muhimu sana kutoka kwa mwalimu wetu, is servant leadership. Ni uongozi wa utumishi. A servant doesn't cause chaos 
to the servants. Mtumishi aleti farakano mafarakano katika wale anaongoza. He unites the servants. Anawajumuisha na kuleta katika umoja. A servant mtumishi doesn't cause the servants. Huwa alaani wale ambao anaongoza. He mentors. Au anawakuza. He nurtures. Anawakuza. He brings up. Anawainua. He wishes them good. Anawatakia mema. He rebukes with love. Anawakemea kwa upendo. He provides where possible. Anafadhili iwezekanavyo. He trains them up. Anawaongoza. That is our Raboni. Huyo ndiye mwalimu wetu. I came to call every Mary. Nimekuja May your eyes be open. I came to call every Mary. The Raboni is risen. Awaken back to the teachings. Rudi katika mafundisho. Of our Raboni. Katika katika mwalimu wetu. Somebody in the house say amen. Mtu aseme amen. Somebody online say amen. Mtu online aseme amen. Point number 8. Point ya 8. And the last one. Na ya mwisho. For today. Ya leo. Unity in diversity. 